Hello lovely yoga students and welcome to this video. So working so. with um, stre stretching a little bit and opening the spine to allow universal life force to come into all the little places within the spine. Um, so this week I'm coming out of the end of a cold so I'm a bit low so um, I'm going to be taking it easy and using blocks and so on. Um, so just do what's right for you. So we're working over these weeks on the idea of cultivating prana. So that's universal life force trying to really encourage it into the body and trying to keep it there. And we're working with um, the mula banda and with breathing practices. Uh, but to begin we're going to start with a little visualisation. So coming into a comfortable seat, whatever works for you, making sure that you can be there for a few moments. And I'm going to invite you to close the eyes or lower the gaze. And we're going to bring the awareness into the nose, into the breath, moving gently in and out through the nose. If, like me, you're feeling a bit bunged up in your nose, you can always breathe through your mouth, but just doing what's right for you. Beautiful. So I'm going to um, invite you to imagine you have a beautiful golden light, like a star, golden star, inside the centre of your chest. And every time you breathe in, you can see this light expanding a little bit out into the heart, so growing into the body. Lovely. And then we can begin to imagine a golden thread coming from the centre of this star in the centre of the body, coming up through the throat, through the head, out through the crown chakra and up to meet the sun star above us. So with the eyes closed or the gaze lowered, just being with these images, the star expanding on the inhale, the golden thread coming up and shooting up to the sun. Beautiful, and then we can imagine the deep red thread that's also starting from the centre of the heart here, going down through the torso, out through the root chakra, down, deep, deep down to the centre of the earth to meet the earth star that can be seen as a deep red light. And so I love to have this visualisation. If you're not good at visualising, you can just know it's there, you know, or feel it or do whatever you do to um, make it happen. And I love to use this as to help me to really um, kind of almost embody the idea of prana coming in through the body. So rising up through the body, filling the whole body and then going up to join the sun. So. Um, you, you can do it the way that I'm doing it or you can just do it in whichever way it works for you. But we can just be with that for another couple of moments. Beautiful. And then just a reminder that through the practice today we're going to be using the Mula Banda. So this is on the exhale. So you can do that just gently with your visualisation for a moment. So as you inhale, see, seeing everything expanding, the threads going up and down. And as you exhale, just engaging the muscles of the pelvic floor. So this helps to just keep the prana inside the body. And it's also just so good for us to be using these muscles. Um, so working with that as we go through the practice. So I'm going to invite you now to come and join me down on the mat in child's pose. So I'm using a folded blanket to pad my knees. 
and I have a um, one of my soft blocks here for under my head and the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to take my head down too low because I'm still having quite a lot of stuff going in my, on in my head so just do what's right for you we're going to start by coming to a wide-legged kneeling position like this so I've got my knees right out almost as wide as the mat and then I'm going to come forward bringing my hands either side of this block or you know you don't have to have a block and then dropping the head down and this is coming into child's pose so you can either have the arms out in front like this or if you'd rather you can have them coming out bes behind, beside you like this and we're going to just drop try and drop down into the child so releasing everything down as you exhale, engaging the muscles of the pelvic floor, the mula banda, and dropping down into the earth. Inhale, you can imagine those threads. Ah, maybe taking a couple of sighs out here to really allow yourself to drop. So I'm going to invite you now, if you've got your hands out behind, to bring them to the sides of your, um, so you've got your elbows to the sides of your ears here. And we're going to, whether you've got a block here or not, what we're going to do is from this position, is on the exhale, we're going to roll onto the top of the head and come forward like this. And exhaling down. Rolling onto the top of the forehead. Beautiful. So from here, we can come up to the top here where we were, bring the knees slightly in so that they're under the hip joints. And then from here we're going to take, doesn't matter which one, take one foot out and press through the heel. So I'm opening the hamstring there. And then bring that knee back and doing it on the other side. So just working, just working on both sides here. Twice on each side. And then gently drop back down into the child. So from here we're going to come up to our um, cat and cow pose. So um, I can take my block away now. So I've got my um, knees padded, knees underneath the hips, sun ray fingers. And I'm just going to begin to do a little bit of cat and cow. So looking forward, taking the spine to the floor, breathing in. Exhale, taking the spine to the ceiling and looking between the knees. A couple more of those. Working with your own breath, matching breath to movement, really being aware of the spine and the vertebrae. Beautiful. So then we're going to come back to a neutral spine. And that thing that we were just doing when we were down on our forearms, we're going to do it again from here. So taking one foot back and then pressing back to open the back of that leg, doing it on the other side. Lovely. So now we're going to come and do a... Um, it's, it's actually a dolphin pose, this, but I find it a sort of very slightly easier dog pose. So coming down, having the elbows on the ground like this, tucking the toes, and I'm just going to raise my, bo my bottom up, straightening the knees. I'm not having them too straight. And breathing here. So this is very strengthening for the shoulders. It's great for the spine as well. And don't stay there for any longer than feels okay. Coming back into your child's pose and taking a rest here. So 
So from here, I'm going to invite you to come over and lie on your back. So joining me here in semi-supine, lying on the back. And we're just going to begin by doing a couple of our pelvic tilts. So on an exhale, engaging the Mula Bandha, dropping the lower spine down into the ground, feeling the tailbone just gently rolling and lifting. Inhale, inviting the prana into the body and allowing the spine to go back to its natural shape. So doing that a couple more times. And when you want to, you can begin to incorporate the arms. So we're dropping the lower spine down to the ground on the inhale, on Mula Bandha, on the exhale rather, and then inhaling, raising the arms up coming up into this beautiful open position. This really opens the spine. Exhale, lower spine dropping to the ground, Mula Bandha, tailbone. Slightly rolling. Beautiful. So the next time that we inhale, I'm going to invite you, if you want to, to come up into a bridge pose. So keeping the feet rooted to the ground, dropping everything down, Mula Bandha. And then on the inhale, curling up the tailbone, raising the hips up into a bridge pose. Staying here for a couple of breaths if that suits you, or coming down. And then when you're ready, everybody coming down to rest gently on the back. Lovely. So we're going to bring the arms out now to shoulder height along the ground and keeping the feet where they are we're going to let the um, knees drop down to the left and turning the head to look over the right shoulder. Couple of breaths there, really letting everything go. And then inhaling, coming back to the center and taking the feet down to the other side, dropping the head over to look over the left arm. So we're gonna do the same thing, but slightly differently now. So we're gonna go over to the left with the knees, look over the right arm and then, but now I'm going to raise this le the right leg and just lay it along the left so that it's just allowed to flop down there. It just gives a bit more of a sort of gentle stretch to along here and opening the spine a little bit more. Beautiful. <sighs> and then bringing that foot back we're going to go all the way to the other side. I won't be able to do it on this side because I've got a cupboard in the way. But, you know, I can do it with a bent leg. So just doing, if you've got space, doing it, taking that leg, that foot all the way out, the leg along the, the top leg, along the bottom one. Beautiful. Wonderful. And then coming back, and bringing yourself back to the neutral semi-supine. So from this um, semi-supine, we're going to come back and do um, a couple more bridges, but we're going to be doing a dynamic movement this time. And we're going to be um, coming from one extreme to, to the other. I'll show you what we're going to be doing. So we're going to exhale, drop the lower spine into the ground, engaging the Mula Bandha. And then as we inhale, curling up the tailbone, lifting the hips, arms coming up to behind the head here. And then as we exhale, we're going to drop down again, Mula Bandha, and then we're going to raise the knees, raise the head and curl up into a little ball. Coming back to the neutral position. So from here again, exhaling, dropping the lower spine, engaging the Mula Bandha, and then inhaling, 
raising the hips, raising the arms. Exhaling, Mula Bandha, everything squeezing in and we're going to grab the knees. Curling into a little ball. Coming back to the neutral spine. Then last time we're going to do the same thing. So exhaling, Mula Bandha, inhaling, raising the hips, arms coming up above the head. Exhaling, coming down, raising the legs, raising the head, tiny little ball. Beautiful. So to be honest with you, because of my cold, I've done very little in the last few days, so I'm really stiff. But it's lovely to be doing these movements. So from here, I'm going to invite you to come and find a comfortable seated position to do some breathing. So finding a really comfortable position for me, I'm on my block and my ball, which is really great. You can be on a chair if that would be more comfortable for you. I'm going to just go through, again, the basics of doing the Nadi Shadana breathing, the alternate nostril breathing. Um, and, but, but I'm not actually going to do the breathing with you because I'm going to encourage you to stop the video, do it for a bit and then start it again like we did last week. So, doing it just without a mudra to begin with, what you're going to be doing is closing the eyes, lowering the gaze, bringing the attention into the nose, and then imagine when you breathe in, that you're breathing in through the left nostril. So you can always feel the air coming through the left nostril. Then breathing out through the right, in through the right, and out through the left. So that's one cycle, we'll do it again. In through the left, out through the right, in through the right, and out through the left. So you can either just continue doing that in your mind, which I will I would do now because I've got a cold. If you would like to bring a mudra in to do it with a mudra, then that's fine. You can do that. So stop the video, do it for however long you like. I would suggest at least five minutes and then start the video again and we will carry on. So hopefully you enjoyed your breathing practice. We're going to now come up to standing to just do a, a very short and simple but lovely sequence to help us to expand and open the spine. So we're going to just begin in Tadasana, so looking down at your feet, making sure that they're nice and parallel and maybe taking a, a nice opening of the shoulders backwards just to make sure that you're standing up nice and straight. So just being there for a moment, the knees are soft, but the legs are straight. Um, just giving, maybe giving their arms a shake and then just letting them flop. Beautiful. So we're going to work with a little sequence. So we're going to start um, facing the short edge of your mat. Into Dasana. We're going to inhale, raising the arms up above the head. Exhale, coming all the way down, bending the knees, coming down into Uttanasana, wherever you can come from. You can always have a chair or something here if it's too much. Inhale, straightening the legs, coming up into a straight back, flat back even. Exhaling, bending the knees, coming back down. Inhale, raising the arms up. We're going to come all the way up, hands up above the head, looking between the palms, and then exhaling, I'm going to come down and look over my right arm that's going forward, and then I'm going to turn my head and look over the back arm. Inhaling back up to the top, and exhaling, doing it the other way, so I'm looking over the front arm to begin, and then turning the head to look over the back arm. Raising up on the inhale, we're going to come back to the other side. Looking forward 
and then inhale looking back. Raising back up to the top and exhale looking forward. Inhale looking back. And then coming back up to the top, hands together in front of the heart. In Tadasana, we're going to inhale, raising the arms up above the head. Exhale, coming all the way down, bending the knees, coming down into Uttanasana, wherever you can come from. You can always have a chair or something here if it's too much. Inhale, straightening the legs, coming up into a straight back, flat back even. Exhaling, bending the knees, coming back down. Inhale, raising the arms up. We're going to come all the way up, hands up above the head, looking between the palms. And then exhaling, I'm going to come down and look over my right arm that's going forward and then I'm going to turn my head and look over the back arm. Inhaling back up to the top and exhaling doing it the other way so I'm looking over the front arm to begin and then turning the head to look over the back arm. Raising up on the inhale we're going to come back to the other side looking forward and then inhale looking back. Raising back up to the top and exhale looking forward, inhale looking back and then coming back up to the top, hands together in front of the heart. Beautiful. So we're going to come down now and do some um, counter poses before we come into the relaxation. So we start here again in semi-supine again, just raising the knees up into the chest and give yourself a little bit of a rock around on the back. So from here I'm going to take the knees down to the right, one hand on top of that top knee taking the other arm out to the side, looking over that other arm, breathing here. And then coming up to the top, just going down the other way. Same thing here. Lovely. And then coming back, just doing whatever you feel like you want to do so I'm going to have a lovely stretch pointing through fingers and toes and then curling up into a little ball before I come down and find my Shavasana so feet out to the sides just letting them flop hands palms facing up slightly out to the side chin slightly down and then letting go of any need to do anything. Just being here for a few moments. Some people say this is the most important pose of the whole practice. The time spent at the end to really give to yourself, to allow yourself to be still. So don't move just because I do. Stay there for as long as you like. Thank you so much for joining me here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the practice. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel. You can make a comment, give me a thumbs up. Um, or of course, if you really want to support me, you can um, contact me via the email at the end of the video and I'm happy to let you know how you can donate. Thank you very much. Namaste.